I just got my Ninja 5 monitor for my Sony a7 IV mirrorless camera. That's right. It is in and it's time to install an external uh, hard drive. Well, actually it's gonna be an internal hard drive, but you can remove it from the back. And I'm gonna put two terabytes. I got a WD Blue on Amazon, uh, like SSD, solid state. It's really, really secure for 250 bucks. I figure it was a, a great step up from the 140 bucks for the one terabyte because you can record ProRes onto this and to your camera and you can easily take this hard drive out of the back plug it into a drive and make your workflow a lot simpler than all the rest of the stuff you need to connect and manage your video and stuff. It's just a really efficient way to go. So what do you get? You get this little um, hard drive box with the monitor. And by the way, this monitor case is fantastic. It's going in my, uh, my hard case so that it can look after this when I'm traveling and stuff and make sure that it's pointed down to protect the monitor. I'm, I, I, I gotta really say this, I, I tried a feel world 5.5 inch uh, monitor. It had like 2000 nits and whatnot. And within four or five uses, the, the screens, check this out, I'll show you this. They started like blurring in on the sides and it was past the return date for Amazon, but they were, they, uh, uh, gave me a refund and respected, you know, the kind of money that I spend on Amazon and took it back. Uh, Field World, I, I reached out to them and I tried to get them to actually give me a discount so that to retain me as a client because I was happy with their monitor and they would barely give me 5%, 10%. I was like, no way, yeah, that's not good enough. You got to do a lot better for retention. So I just said, screw it. I'm going with the Ninja 5, the best of the best on, on uh, the uh, prosumer entry level, at least, um, uh, monitors. Uh, and uh, yeah, so essentially all you need to do to put this on here is you, you get your hard drive out. Check this out, this is so cool. And you get this guy like this, and it's like a normal hard drive, right? You get your little documents, and essentially, you need to uh, you need to take off and remove before installing. You need to take this sucker off, because you gotta protect those, you gotta protect the grids, right? And do, 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 do. You take this and you take your little case that, and then you can hear about a lot of things online with these things sticking out and stuff and concerned about falling off. Wait till you see this, there's grip. There's two little slots in here. That's not doable. There's a lot of different things that you can buy to put hard drives in, in to latch it, but they, they range. Like this was free a case and whatnot. And uh, you just got to put it in there. So the first thing is you get these four little guys, these four little screws. So you got to find the smallest little screwdriver. So you go and you get your hammer drill. Just kidding, and that's the wrong bit. You don't get that. You get your normal thin screwdriver and you make sure, you just check it to make sure that it, it will go good and you make sure. And once that's good, you take these out. And I have these great surfaces. Um, I should put a link down below also um, to the Ninja 5. Um, monitor and uh, this WD blue on Amazon to get, but I also, these pads here are fantastic. They come in this case. That's just amazing. Um, and it's way better or way more affordable than Pelican cases, uh, which are look like this and they're super expensive and they got the foam core and you can buy extra and different things. But this case right here on uh, Canadian tire, I got, you know, for under like 160 bucks and it's amazing. It's even got wheels and you can roll it. Anyway, I just had to mention that because, you know, gear is something and learning through others to what works and what doesn't for when you go on the, on the, on the video shoot and you roll in, literally roll in with a travel wagon like this that I just bought also with, uh, not from Canadian Tire so that I can come in with my gear because carrying everything in, it's a big production, right? And you got to look after that. So you want to be, you know, able to flow into the productions and whatnot. But anyway, I hope you're getting some tips out of this and whatnot. Uh, so <laughs> um, it's a kind of broad range. I just like to share myself a lot because I'm an educator. So you'll see these little screws on the sides, okay? Those are what you're gonna screw into. So, and you just gotta make sure that this little um, area here is where the, uh, the, the little device um, peripherals are sticking out of. So you can see like that, okay? So it's essentially in there flat, straight down. You put this in here and you put that on. Oh, I see, it actually snugs it. Then it's not gonna be moving around. Hey, check this out. 
<laughs> okay, and do 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 do. Yep, you can see that it's snug, snug, and everything's cool. Now it's solid. Did it go? Okay. And maybe oh, this is just getting fun. This is a, this is the sloppy. So I, I hope you're all um, hanging out with a coffee. Um, hopefully not. Uh, you know, a glass of something. Um, do do do. So I'll speed this up. This video up. Boom, it is in, check that out. Very solid, literally solid. And now we go to our monitor here and let me flip that over. Protect the screen always. And essentially you just take it and it slides in. Nice, boom. We should now power it on. These batteries are also fantastic, found on Amazon. They're by newer and uh, they're perfect Sony batteries um, that uh, work on this, the NWF750s. Uh, and you can get two and then you can get a battery charger also. So these things do me for like two hours at a time um, with most monitors. So I'm expecting good things with this and we can go like that. And now we can give this a shot and see how she goes. So let's turn it on. Actually, maybe I'll even attach it to the camera just in case it likes to see signals, this guy. So I also got this cable. This is a fantastic cable. It's good for, um, you know, not having cables all go everywhere and it's really high speed stuff. I'll put that link in uh, below also, which goes great from the ca camera to a gimbal also. And it doesn't hang everywhere when the gimbal's moving and you're um, on video shoots. The uh, um, it's it's really fantastic and it just keeps everything clean really easy. So I'm just going to make something simple here where I'm going to turn this on, plug this in. And we'll see how she goes. Just so she's always attached to each other. They, they get attached, literally get attached. Come on, that's funny. OK, that's kind of corny, isn't it? OK. So let's now turn it on and see about formatting. Actually, I'll turn on my camera first. Pop. And my beautiful camera's on. Now I will turn the Ninja 5 on. Ninja 5. We all like ninjas, don't we? Ninjas are cool. Samurai. And it's powering up. Magical power. And that fan, by the way, it only starts up a little bit when it uh, starts up. And then it's kind of gone. Um, so now, oh, so I want to see the rest of my, oh, there you go. Gotta love, there it is. There's my stuff and there's my wolfies. But anyway, we don't need to do that right now. Um, that'll just be too entertaining. But anyway, look at that depth of field. That's a 20 millimeter lens. Um, fantastic. You, you got to get that for this camera, the G Master. Fantastic stuff. But let's go in and take a look around at the, uh, so you can go around and you can look here and go to media. And now you have this format setting. And this is where you essentially have to format the first time and you just click. Are you sure you would like to format this drive? All files will be deleted and your LUTs. You know, this is all leading to actually getting a firmware update um, also, which is the first thing I got to do after this, but I want to format the drive. So boom, that's how you format and you just go in. And that whole uh, drive, did it really format that fast? Like, that's crazy. There's the uh, ProRes HQ. You can see that in the top here. Oh my, that is just amazing. I think some of these formats you have to actually, um, you got to uh, confirm things. Oops, let's go. We don't want to go back. That's gonna we want to switch the codecs over. H.265, but it's all about the ProRes. The ProRes, ooh, it's such a, an amazing um, codec. Which it's huge, so external drive, everyone. Anyway, that is essentially how you uh, format your drive. You install it, and away you go. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or you can check this video out also, which is pretty cool and has to do with cameras, or make sure to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Be well, guys.